as children grow and develop, the number one thing that I want to kind of call our attention to that's growing and developing is what I would call an inner interface, a kind of a translational system that, that they learn in order to interface the nervous system of a human being with all of the world. And I want to say that the inner interface that's growing right now is grossly inefficient, grossly energetically dissipative of the very capacities for learning. Let me see if I can't get a better handle on this for you. When a small child, for example, is learning to walk, they're tuning and instrumenting the extension of themselves into space, into their own bodies. And as they move, the field of gravity and their own actions and their touches allows them to feel themselves as they extend into being more here physically. And to a similar degree, the same process is going on when they learn to differentiate sounds. There's a process of, of internal, uh, almost acoustical feedback with which they learn to be able to instrument and extend out what they can hear, this word as opposed to that word, the differentiation process. This is similarly true of, a, of a, how a child unfolds visual space. If we put a baby in here right now, they would understand that they would see that there's people here, but they wouldn't see chandeliers and they wouldn't see projectors or microphones. They don't have any language for any of this. They don't have any, so it just doesn't exist. They, they learn to differentiate and extend themselves. Now, when it comes to how well children can do this in the, in, within their own bodies, with respect to how well they walk and they're balanced and they can hear and they can speak and they can see. They're fantastic learners. They're born learning oriented. Their nervous system is born to tune itself in, to extending, to be more present, to be maximally present in their world and environment. But when it comes to knowledge in the world, they don't have a chance. The knowledge in the world has been constructed and organized by an adult brain. And it's not been designed to be unfolded so that the, sm the small child's nervous system can unfold and extend and exercise themselves into being present in that world in the way that is natural for them in all the other worlds they live in. So <clears throat> as a consequence of that, what they end up doing, I suspect, and we want to talk about more, is developing an, an inner interface, an inner translational system that rather than being based on a, a kind of instrumented trust of their own impulses, is based on a, um, a series of almost rote and mechanical and highly dissipative and energetically draining uh, translations between their nervous system and the world.